ndi bai ekene ni munu asimka obosinka ta mana na yemma asimka nko echi kwali azelo tadi ko sidi ya bukwa eastern news 24 ka ya siko hene hotel ni abon kozi dio kemba bastama ka yeneme na obodo anonymia ana bastama ka ngoro wendi bonazo tadi ko sidi fa bu eh obose akaraka aina boku ya moninti ni do akuko e basta maka ka ya bi fesi apoto obona nka bu bosi zigi ne so era ni do akuko ka baro ki join ni ai kira so that kira pi miss any of our update the guy na drop ru ni daily ni do akuko na eastern news 24 on no sima gini ya ka lo wan ni e di ko si di gani ife bi from prime minister wo li punu bosi nketa no ro gi se abi fu na ti ya lo nku nu ko e fu nu chero basta maka yenda ni ne o de gi hu Need a hook or no bossing kita. All right, over to you, sir. I are doing a great, great job, you and your team. Um, I just want to support um our mandate members in Ireland, our own minister Benny that just finished speaking, and uh, Dominica, and also to um invite some of you to also join us in new dimension mandate that is where we make things happen and to help um to know what is in the back of that cloth i'm gonna support with 200 dollars thank you so much thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you. Thank another, you. another another update we are from from the Zoo Abuja want to support with five hundred dollars to know what is there. Thank, wow. you. Wow. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Becky, Becky, Enoba Kare, over to you. Unmute yourself. Good evening, everybody. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Can hear you right on. Good evening, my honorable prime minister. Greeting, greeting. Eko Duma in a do mean he can't blow. Ekpa. That name Ekpa in a do is blow everyone. That is the new name I found for you. Any anybody, any country where Kikong can go blow, they're not going to survive, and nobody could survive Kikong blow. That is what our prime minister is doing to the terrorist Nigeria. Thank you very much for what you are doing for us. Thank you, our COS, CSO. <laughs> Sorry, English not my language, oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I want to greet everybody. All the honorable ministers in the house, thank you for standing for the gap, for defending our land. I am from Edo. We are Biafrans. No matter the light they say to us, we are Biafrans. So whatever Sister Tina have used to unveil whatever, whatever is behind that veil, because Sister Tina, we are together. We know, we know, we know ourselves. We know we are for the do our own thing <laughs> if my sister is uh we have we pertain a group together so i want to use 50 dollars to support whatever she has used to unveil whatever is on in behind that beautiful thing that is behind that veil thank you very much and uh, you, i want to use another 50 dollars to buy coffee for our prime minister Thank you very much. So everything together with the hundred dollar. I will send it to our minister for information. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we go to Ikedina Ibo. Ikedina Ibo. Over to you. Ikedina Ibo. Over to you. Unmute yourself. You have the mic. Good evening, everybody from North Africa here. Uh, 
I will use fifty dollar to unveil whatever is behind the white curtain I'm seeing. I think it shall be well with all of us in the mighty name of all of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We go back to Nduka. Nduka, unmute yourself. Nduka, thirty-seven, unmute yourself. Happy to be well. They were, they were, but I want to I'm using hundred a gem to. I want to know what is actually behind that white cotton. Thank you. I want you. to see it. Thank, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. We go to Namdi and Osike. Unmute yourself. Yeah, greetings to everyone. Am I being heard? There were. Yeah, I'm with Major our sagacious prime minister. Oh, yeah, that really made us proud. We are happy for you. Okay, we will always visit you. Okay, we will always bless you. Your enemies will always go down. I have to go with Gabiama. I greet Same. everyone. Thank uh, you. I, one, I, with the, I want to pick up you, Google, and also to know what is really behind this white curtain that our <laughs> sister covered. So I'm using fifty dollar to do that. They will know. They will. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They will. We go to one other chair. Over to you. Once again, good evening. Welcome to Ireland. Our Prime Minister Meji Bwago. Uh, our sister Ngozi Wada Ngozi. Uh, our prime min our ministers welcome to Ireland. All protocol observed. I want to see what is behind that curtain. I see the kitchen, and I don't want to guess if it's rice or whatever, you know. So I want to see it. I don't want to see. I'm supporting that veil with hundred dollars. Thank you. 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 Um, okay. Don't know. Do we have any more? I don't think. I think I saw your hands up before. I don't. Hey, I don't think we can take it. I don't break it out. I'm not planning to talk about to be in a plan. So yeah, I'm gonna. <laughs> <laughs> oh my all right all right all right um what uh all can we see can we now unveil the what you have there what mm -hmm. i think i saw one that joy Irobi's hand oh, okay. thank you i think uh Maybe after I have addressed uh, uh, the island, you can unveil it. Uh, so let uh, I have uh, one or two things to say. Thank you. Thank you, my honorable people. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Go ahead. Go ahead, Joy. It will be Dr. Joy. Dr. Joy. All right. All right. Maybe uh, I think, uh, whoever want to uh, uh, unveil or do something can do after after my just brief uh, brief address. Okay. All okay. Right, uh, okay, sir. All right, uh, fellow beer friends in uh, Ireland. The PM, unmute yourself, please. Please, everyone should remain muted because the PM is speaking now. Uh, fellow beer friends in Ireland, uh, welcome all of you this evening. The cabinet members, ministers, uh, media personnel, uh, ladies and gentlemen of the press who are watching this evening, I welcome every one of you to the tour of Ireland. The Biafra Liberation is witnessing what I call a very powerful paradigm shift. Paradigm shift will continue to shift to the best interest of the Biafra freedom. 
we have constantly warned that those who have killed their friends for decades will not have peace in Biafra land. We have also banned checkpoints. As Biafra has picking up arms for self-defense against those who have killed them for ages, from the military to police to every arm carrying Nigeria uh, uniform pers personnel within the Biafra territory, they have committed genocide, war crime, massacre of Biafrans from 1999, since Wazirike formed the Mossab, to 2015, from 2015 to 2016 to 2017, up to 2024. Biafra agitators has been killed, murdered in cold blood, without nobody defending them, without anybody, you know, holding, holding responsible for that massacre by the Nigerian military, terrorist military, the military that are now being controlled by Boko Haram. The evidences are there. We have seen even the massacre of Biafrans in 100, in one day. Unlike what you see today in the northern Nigeria, where the terrorists from Sahel, another part of uh, uh, you know the northern Africa, have entered Nigeria on the invitation of the past uh, President uh, Buhari and his administration, they went to the North Africa and invited them. And of course, stories have it that many of them were brought in in order to facilitate the rig of election, rigging election as they always do. And then after that, they have refused to go back. They decided that uh, their invitation was to tell them that Nigeria belonged to them. So we see them ransacking villages in the northern Nigeria, in the Middle Belt, in the Southwest, and even attempted to also ransack our villages in Biafra land before the emergence of the Biafra Liberation Army. This killing has been going on and why the terrorists are killing in the north, Nigeria terrorist armies are in the southern part of Nigeria, the Biafra land, or in the eastern part, the southern part actually because we are not in the east. They are in the southern part of uh, Nigeria, which is the Biafra land, and killing and burning our villages, killing our women, enforcing the disappearance of our young men and our young women. For that reason, we decided that uh, we have to activate the law of inter or international law of self-defense, which means when somebody wants to kill you, defend yourself. And at this particular point, we are facing terrorists with guns, machine guns, the state-sponsored terrorism, or uh, you know, the state actor terrorism with machine guns. And so for that Biafra to properly defend themselves, we must provide the exact machine gun that they come with. So those who are more tactical will be the one to win. On the, uh, the other, given that no checkpoint is allowed anymore because we've witnessed over 40,000 Biafrans has been, you know, disappeared, has disappeared through the checkpoint. And in those checkpoint, we've seen where they facilitate kidnapping of our people from clergymen to businessmen, many who, uh, you know, miraculously regained their freedom, narrated how they were abducted by the bandit just a very close, a very step away from the checkpoint, from the military checkpoint. We all remember the famous bishop also who was kidnapped one time ago and he narrated how he was kidnapped. It was just one pull away from the military checkpoint. So we have seen several testimonies where Biafrans have been abducted and they are, they are called, you know, the testimony shows that even the military or those who call themselves military and having in their checkpoint were also involved in the kidnapping where somebody was abducted, taken to the forest and people who saw it, eyewitnesses, went to the military to tell them that they are there and they went to, you know, tell the people not to complain. So when those kind of things happen, they share the proceed. We've seen where even those who manage uh, to run out of luck were, you know, shambolically arrested and they say the military 
was arrest, arrested for kidnapping. This has been happening in entire Nigeria, not just in Biafra land. So the Biafra government, if they don't understand what government is all about, Biafra government is completely in charge of Biafra land. The de facto government and the government in exile controls the entire Biafra territory. And for that reason, we ban every checkpoint. And when we continue to say, when we ban checkpoint, stay away from checkpoint. Because the day it will happen, nobody will tell you. Anybody crying today that uh, the kill military in Aba, you are an idiot. The people that were killed in Aba are terrorists. And that's exactly what they are. They have killed Biafrans enough, and we applaud whoever that did it. It is a military that are infiltrated by terrorists and terrorists that they, they are. We have seen the killings of Biafrans for many, many decades, and nobody has you know, done anything about the killings of Biafra people. And like we continue to say, anywhere you are in Biafra land representing Nigeria, carrying gun as a military, as a police, as any security agent in, uh, under Nigeria, in Biafra land, Biafra does not belong to you. You are staying there illegally and you'll be treated like a terrorist because that's what you are. This is the order of the Biafra Republic government in exile and the Biafra de facto government in the homeland. We have Biafra defense forces that are taking care of all the security situation in our land. And those of you who think that we are joking, believe me, the time you kill people and go free is gone. We have activated a lot of self-defense to the maximum. And Biafra land will be defended ruthlessly like never before. So those of you who cry and start shouting, oh, military, this military, that, which military? Did you not hear former general T.Y. Danjuma say, carry gun, defend yourself. If you rely on Nigeria military, you are all going to be killed and you will die. Yes. He was, he was a general. Do you know better than him? He served Nigeria, fought Biafra war against Biafra people. Yet, he came out to say, if you do not rise up with arms and rely on Nigeria army, you will all die one by one. Only Biafra people under this government in exile understood the call yes. of the white Danjuma. And today, it can never be wiped wipe away out of the Nigerian history. He is a man who stood up once upon a time and spoke the truth without fear. Today, we understand him very well because we know exactly what is going on. But some of you, the morons, who think you are getting peanut from Nigeria, you think that we are going to sacrifice our people, the life of our women and children, just because you are going to give people peanut. No, we have come out for this freedom and this freedom we will fight, making sure that those who come to kill before and go free will not come again and kill and go free. And like I said, checkpoint in Biafra land remain banned. Those of you who are falling victim today, you have to be very security conscious. What I want to do is to intimidate you to instill fear in you by continual enforcing disappearance of Biafrans, abducting you, making video, putting you in a van, that is not going to stop the movement and the liberation of Biafra. If they like, they should go to Abia State, pack everybody in the street. It is not going to stop the liberation. And those of you in Abia State, in Aba, we have been warning to stay away from anything military. In both their checkpoint, whenever you see their vehicle, stay away. Don't go closer because these are terrorists. All they do is to abduct you. And the by that only no consciousness or any name, never go. And the key is so we get a beef in the the ballon, the gentle lion who has any rock war, no basin ketatano. On that the key be a boy. If you were equal, but stomach, I'll be friend, and you know, was in Iraq. Folk would in there, open the course in the case you would keep, but stomach, I'll be fair. A drop wire on the comments below. 
Chitupe ni ya Eastern News 24. Kaisi wene wote dono nupozi ya dokemba. Dono nupozi ya dokemba.